Yo, what is up? Check it. It's exactly what you think it is. It's an invader Zim riding the pig and then the Gur is riding the Zim. Today I'm gonna show you how I paint this thing. And this is a gift from my buddy Austin. He's been a long time client and great supporter and he's helped me a lot in my career and he collects my tattoos and my paintings and stuff. So big shout out to Austin. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I paint this thing up. Check it out, YouTube. Hey, what's up? So the first part of my oil painting process is to lay out the shadows. So I like to mix a super dark green with a super dark red instead of using a straight up black as my shadow. Um, it's rich in pigment and it definitely adds an extra layer of realism to your paintings. So a pre-mixed black is more mechanical and it's great for outlining and stuff like that but if we want to transition into a more realistic style we're gonna mix every one of our pigments and we're gonna do it very carefully so after I get my shadows roughed out on the um, painting I work in very slow methodical layers I kind of want to balance my darks to lights and then I want to kind of get a rough value study with um, whatever I can achieve on the shadow layer uh, I then start to build my middle tone so once I have my shadows my small value study done then I can start to select my hues so your colors do not have to be the same as your photo reference you can get a little bit creative here, but the main thing that makes an impact on your overall painting is the value range. So as long as you can nail those values, chances are you're gonna have a really good looking realism painting. We wanna pay attention to light sourcing as well. So really studying your reference is gonna help you out. You never wanna paint what you think you see, you wanna paint what you actually see. So that is our main um, objective in realism oil painting. So we're gonna let these paints dry a little bit and then we're gonna come back in and do a whole other session on it. 